Hello Kikai and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and it's so nice to see you once again. I am so grateful for your continued love and support. If you are new, thank you for clicking my thumbnail and welcome to Kikai's Place. My name is Espy and I do a lot of unboxing and reviews for perfumes and fragrances if that's your thing and we are on same alley, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, help me grow our small community, and be a friend of our show. Today, we will be talking about Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Parfum, which is trying to follow the success of the original Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau Parfum. If you would like to know more about it, stay with me, coming right up after this quick intro. in this deep red um, packaging at the front you will see the name of the house Mason Francis Kirk John Paris and of course the name of the perfume Baccarat Rouge 540 at the bottom you will see the version extra de parfum on both sides you will see some art embedded in here showing the inspiration of the creation of this perfume. At the top, you will see the logo of the house, Mason Francis Kirkchon. And also at the bottom, you will see the information like the ingredients, the serial number, and of course, the batch code. Now to set your expectation, once again, I already initially unboxed this. And um, you can definitely see that on the links that I will be putting it down in the description below. Now what I like in this perfume as well is the uniqueness of the packaging. It also comes with this welcome letter. So the welcome letter actually informs or tell us um, the message from the perfumer. And... Um, if I'm not mistaken and if I can still remember, it also contains the details of the inspiration of the perfume itself. And by the way, um, this letter also comes in different languages. And here is the bottle of Bacara Rouge 540 X-ray. So the bottle comes in this ruby shade red translucent bottle it has this um, gold label on the front and of course it, it's a real uh, a real piece of metal it's not like a cheap plastic covering the name of the brand is written in this red uh, red font the lid on the top has the logo of the house mason francis for john and the bottom just so you know, it looks luxe, totally lush, and, you know, very extravagant. Now, this Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Train Parfum by Mason Francis Carchon, and uh, this has been categorized as an amber floral fragrance for men and women. Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Train Parfum was launched in 2017. So it's been five years already that this has been available in the market. Now, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Parfum intensifies the radiance of the three auras found in the Eau de Parfum without betraying the original inspiration. The perfumer's mastered craft and wisdom gained with the time gave birth to this woody Extrait Parfum an ultimate accomplishment for Francis Kirk John. The Grandiflorum Jasmine from Egypt 
had no gently underscores the craftsman's voice. The hint of fire is enhanced with powdered Epicurean facets of bitter almond accord. Adding to the intensity of the extreme, the perfume bottle also plays with light. Its aesthetic dons a brilliant red robe reminiscent of Baccarat Red. Baccarat Rouge 540 Mason Francis Kurt John Extreme Parfum embodies the perfusion and fusion of elements that can only be tamed by the art of the perfumer and the wisdom gained with time. Now, this creation is signed by the master perfumer Francis Kirk John himself, who is also the creator of some popular perfumes from different designer brands and niche houses, like the popular Ultra Male by John Paul Gautier, Lady Vengeance by Juliet Hassagon, the Master of Musk Notes, Narcisa Rodriguez for him by Narcisa Rodriguez. Burberry Her and Burberry Her Intense by Burberry, which has been known as the popular doof for the original Baccarat Rouge 540. And of course, coming from his own niche house, the legendary Baccarat Rouge 540. Eau de Parfum by Mason Francis Kirchhoff. The fragrance comes in this luxurious and stunning red amber red bottle in 30, 70, and 200 ml in extra de Parfum concentration. The one that I own here is the 70 ml bottle. Now let's go ahead and try to talk about the main accords. It composed of amber, almond, woody, warm, spicy, animalic, nutty, musky, fruity, white floral, and metallic. Now the top notes are composed of bitter almond and saffron. Heart notes are jasmine, Egypt, Egyptian jasmine, and cedar. While the dry down notes are ambergris, woody notes, and moss. Now, with all of the information from the main accords, from top notes all the way to the dry down notes, if you would ask me, how would I describe this fragrance to you? Well, this fragrance has been described as sweet yet spicy, powdery yet metallic, clean, and a bit of airy. It is a molecule-based fragrance, so it's not powerful and strong in a way that is very offensive. I feel like it will never really too much. It is just very present. It has this very strong presence, but honestly, this is the type of fragrance that is very difficult to describe. There are a lot of magic happening right after you sprayed it onto your skin. This fragrance has jasmine, it has woody notes, it has cedar, it has saffron, which is kind of a, like a spacey source of flower. It doesn't smell bitter, so don't get me twisted. The bitter almond notes here give creaminess to the fragrance and uh, this note is actually responsible for making this perfume a unisex fragrance. It can be worn by both men and women, very sexy, very fluid, and very luminous. Now seasons and occasions to wear this perfume. You know with the highest versatility this perfume can offer I can say that this is one of the fragrances that you can use 24-7, 365 days. It's an all year round, but of course, to my own personal opinion, I feel like it can be worn best during very special occasions like attending a luxurious and prestigious event, maybe attending um, an extravagant wedding, 
meeting with an executives in a five-star rated venues or you know having your first date with someone you truly adore and just really want to you know want that event very more memorable for you just don't spray or over spray because it's powerful you know as the name claims it's an extreme concentration it does the job well and this perfume will last onto your skin until the next day now for my personal experience like the projection siage longevity you know the overall performance um, Honestly, this is a heavy and a beast mode fragrance. It is also heavy in ambroxan or ambergris that tends to go on, you know, quite animalic to me. There is musky milk, definitely woody, which is very sexy along with cedar. This fragrance is an easy 10 plus hours longevity. It has this signature burnt sugar, cotton, candy-ish, sweetness scent, a guaranteed compliment over. Despite of being heavy and dense, the scent profile is very inoffensive, very mass appealing fragrance. Overall, this is, you know, this is a, a perfect signature scent for both and women. It has a long-lasting power and ability that stays in my skin up to 8 hours depending on your skin chemistry. This is a divine scent. It's definitely a stunner of a fragrance where people will notice it around you. It's creamy, dense, but still a bit airy. You will continue to get the whips the entire day. This fragrance will leave a sexy, deep, inviting, and very luxurious sillage. The only downside I can say in this perfume is that due to heavy ambroxan present here, you will tend to be anosmic with the scent. Um, there are moments that you will not smell it on you but people around you will continue to pick up your scent. Also, it is so pricey, so expensive, but the quality that you will be getting is worth the hefty price tag. That's it, Kikai. There you have it. And this concludes my review for Bakara Root 540 Extreme Purple. I hope that I was able to describe and present this luxurious fragrance to you. If you are a man or a lady and looking for a perfect signature scent and, you know, money is not an issue, this is a very interesting fragrance that is worth to explore. And if you also own this perfume, please do let me know in the comment section down below so that we can share our thoughts, ideas, experiences about this amazing and very luxury perfume. Now, if you like this review, please do give me a thumbs up so that this review will reach more viewers and fragrance enthusiasts. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified and updated to all of my upcoming future videos. So since we are still a small community, my fragrance or perfume giveaway is still ongoing. We are now currently have 31 subscribers and my first milestone hit target is at least 100 subscribers. Once we reach that, I will be re uh, releasing a separate video. Um, two lucky subscribers will receive two bottles of 5 ml decans of your fragrance choice from my current perfume arsenal. So um, please do consider to at least subscribe to my channel and that way we can definitely share our passion when it comes to fragrances. Um, my collection is still growing. I still have more perfume to come and um, of course I would like to review them one by one in that way I can also share my thoughts my initial reviews and my take on those perfumes as well once again I am Yorka Kikai thank you for spending your time with me 
and I will see you soon on our next perfume unboxing and review video. Have a good one and stay safe. Bye for now.